What actuaries do is very, it could be very broad and very specific all at the same time. Uh, but what they do is they basically use like numbers and experience data and things like that to uh, like assess risk. So one of the things is like for life insurance, a risk would be uh, the client dying. So they do a lot of studies on like uh, people that you know they're based on their age and smoker, non-smoker, when are they going to die and things like that. And then that gets turned around and comes into your life insurance premiums, and that's you know that's how they like make money and things like that. More of what like I do at work is I do a lot of testing to make sure the data that we get. Uh, is correct. Um, so there's a lot of computer programming in actuarial science um, and there's also a lot of math and then there's also you have to think about the business impacts. So it's kind of a marriage of all three, you know, you got computer science, math, and uh, econ kind of stuff and how do those all mesh together and things like that. But it is totally worth it in the end because getting an actuarial job I think it's normally ranked like top 10 because of uh, the, they get paid pretty well. The um, what would you call it? The stress isn't very high, and then they work bankers hours. We work like 40 hours a week, and that's about it. Unless you're consulting, I think you generally work a bit more. But it's it's a pretty nice gig. It's pretty relaxed as well. Okay, so I started out in engineering and I thought, you know, in high school I was really good at the math classes and then I had physics and chemistry and I did really well with those. Uh, but then I got the IPFW and that was not the case. I still did well, but I didn't like it, which was a different. Uh, but I realized I didn't like any of the science. I actually only liked the math part. Uh, so then I went and looked up math careers uh, and then I found this awesome website called beanactuary.org and that's where it told me that actuarial science is computer science, business, and math. And so I was like, oh, that's great, because I've always liked, you know, econ, and then I've liked, uh, I had some computer science, computer programming classes when I was in engineering. Really enjoyed those, and then, you know, math, obviously, that's what I really liked. So I was like, oh, I might as well take a look at this, and I actually went and talked to Joe, and he just gave me his time. I think it was like an hour and a half. I was like, hey, can I chat with you about what this career is? And then I got a job shadow, and then I, after I did that, I came back and changed my major right away. So it's, it just really appealed to me. And then I, uh, I've had my internship for two years and while I've been finishing up my degree for the last two years. Uh, and while working and going to school, I'm like, oh man, this is, this is it. This is the thing that I want to do. So it's been really nice that I switch and it's the one and I don't have to switch again. <laughs> I think one of the bigger ones, which is kind of related to school, but was my internship that was huge. And then now that uh, they kept, uh, it was supposed to end like originally at the end of the calendar year. And then they're like, hey, how about you come back for the spring? And then they're like, how about you come back from the summer? And they're like, how about after school? So it, that was, I think, one of my biggest accomplishments and especially since as an intern I'm actually making a difference in the department. Uh, things I've created everyone's using to report the numbers all the way up to the company which or the, the CEO which affects our stock price which is pretty cool as an intern. Uh, for math and actuarial in general I would say even math major so for like the professors and stuff when they do their experiments they need to be able to put them into a computer so like a little bit of a computer science um, along with the math it's not necessarily needed because I know a lot of people don't like the computer science component but if you can at least be familiar with it it'll make you more hireable uh, between math and actuarial science uh, for actuarial science get at least pass one exam and try to get an internship, uh, which the hiring happens in the fall of every year. So if they can get an exam this summer, or, you know, during the school year, and then for next year, they can get an internship. One exam plus an internship pretty much can get you a job at most companies for actuaries. I'm going to start working with Lincoln Financial Group full time uh, as an actuary and then uh, through there I'll progress through the exams and just go through my career as an actuary and see how it goes. <laughs>